home decor thrift store holland style um for i think it's episode six now so um let's see what should i start off with oh i tried to record this video yesterday um but i did it in my bedroom when the um when it was starting to get dark and so i had like a bunch of like lamps on to try to um counteract the light or whatever and apparently the lights were like reflecting against the mirror and it would have been super blinding to watch that. So yeah, I'm gonna do a take two on this one. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, I guess I should start with the bar cart stuff. So um, again, at the end of this video, I will be showing you how I've placed these items in my home. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, um, that is going to be at the end of the video. Okay, so first thing, um, so last night when I was recording this, I realized because this was, these were taped up in the thrift store, um, and little to my knowledge, I thought it was going to be four of them, but, um, it's three of them, but I'm perfectly okay with that. I paid $1.99 for these, so just elegant, crystal-looking um, coasters. So I hope you're able to pick up on that. So yeah, there's three of them. Okay, so next, you guys, I'm just going to place all my stuff I've shown over here. So next is... I'm just, I'm getting really sick of this wig. It's starting to get like really ratchety. So, um, anyways, next is this um, crystal glass. And I did the crystal test where I did the ding and it ding. So that means it's the lead in the crystal. Um, but I know I've shown you guys one that looks identical to this. So how funny that weeks later I found the the exact match to it and I didn't even know when I was there at the store that it would be the exact match um I just thought it looked when you get a wig hair stuck in your mouth okay so um but I just loved it and I was like wow it looks really similar I wonder if it's the exact same one and surely enough it is the same exact one so um I feel like in terms of styling glassware or the bar cart that I'm doing, the style that I'm going for. Um, I feel like a key way to do that, cause I know I've mentioned that I don't like, like matchy matchy shit. So I like to do some sets, some pairs and then intermix it or mix it up with um, stuff that doesn't, doesn't match at all. Um, it's all about a balance in terms of glassware and things like that. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. So, um, yeah, there's that you guys. Um, okay. So next, um, now that was in the warehouse. So I paid some change for that one. I, you know, cause it's a big bin. So, um, whatever the change is, I'm not really sure. But anyways, this is the next piece. And this looks like crystal. I'm not really sure. It could be. It could be glass. I'm trying to get a good view of it. That's not helping at all. Um, so anyway, it was a one-man show. Just this piece alone. Um, so there wasn't like the, the pepper thing that goes with it or, or vice versa. Like this was pepper or whatever. Um, so it was just by itself and it was marked as 50 cents. Um, but I got it because we do like tequila and I think for drinking tequila, it's great to have like some handy salt on your bar cart. Um, just like kind of readily available so you don't have to go to the kitchen and get some salt. So, um, just we'll keep the salt in this, um, and keep it on the bar cart. So there's that. 
any more okay so I think okay so last four um last four bar cart stuff are these three glasses so they're all the same Okay, in terms of drinking, but it won't be alcohol, it's more tea. Um, you guys know that I have been, whew, I need to trim this wig or do something, girl. But I have this wig on because I'm actually trying to grow out my side shave. Um, and then I also need to change the color because the blue is faded and I want to kind of intermix some, some pink or something in there. So... Just doing the wig thing for now for my YouTube videos until I get that. Um, okay, so back to the tea thing. Um, so yeah, you guys know that I've been collecting, getting back to um, what I used to collect if you've been watching the series. Um, but back in my early 20s, I used to be really big into floral china. Um, so this was just by itself and I paid, I don't, I think I paid 99 cents for the teacup and saucer. Um, so there was no set or anything like in terms of a bunch of other pieces that go with it or whatever. Um, made by Crescent Fine China. I don't know the value of that. Um, it's not really a big deal to me, but I do really think that it's um, such a pretty piece. So rest assured, um, we will be having some tea time videos here on my channel. I don't know what, I don't know, just where I'll be sipping tea and I don't know, we'll be talking about some interesting things maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I have been collecting, I have been collecting tea. You guys have seen this piece. Um, so yeah, there's some tea in there. I've been filling up some of these little things that I have that I call them crumpet things. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish you guys could smell that. It's got an assortment of black and green tea and different flavors. So, yeah. Okay, so I know. So I know. Um, gosh, it's a way, girl. Okay, so, um. I know that I have said here on my channel that I'm not really like a faux flower, fake flower kind of person, but I do feel like if you put them in like a cup or a small vase or some kind of um, glassware or whatever, um, and it's all like the same flower and it could be pulled off to look real, then I feel like it could be given it could put off that same kind of elegance that real fresh flowers would. Um, that's just my opinion. So I'm gonna kind of show you an example. I do have some of these laying around right here. Okay, so like for example, um, we have this home goods cup, just a cute polka dot home goods cup. Um, shit. So, let's see. Probably three or four would be ideal for, like, this size cup. But we'll start off with three. So, I don't know, placed right in a vignette, maybe on your coffee table. Um, it, it could be placed on your bookshelf, your bar cart, um, coffee cart. Um, anywhere, just anywhere in your home, um, your bathroom, and it kind of gives off like that fresh flower vibe, um, as opposed to like a floral arrangement with like a bunch of different flowers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like it just looks more authentic as like some fresh flowers sitting out, you know, just like sitting beside your chair. I don't know. Anyways. Um, next, you guys, is this little scarf. Um, this scarf I paid, okay, so those fl those fake flowers came out of the warehouse, so I paid just some change for those. Um, and as you know, fake flowers can be pretty costly if you get them at, like, craft stores and stuff. So, um, yeah, definitely feel like I got my 
money's worth there. Um, anyway, so I paid 25 cents for this scarf. Um, they label it as scarf, but I feel like it could also be used as a bandolier, like on your, your handbag or something. Um, but I really like this. It's black and white and like a modern circle type, um, print. Um, so yeah, there's that you guys. Okay. So is, I'm not sure where these originally came from, but these were 99 cents a piece. Um, but I just thought they were really cute. These were not in the warehouse. They were inside the, the building, the thrift store building. Um, and then as you know, like tea lights, uh, you can get those all day long at, um, the dollar store in bulk. So, um, yeah, I'm just keeping these beside my bathtub for now. Um, now some little fashion accessories. Well, I already showed you guys the scarf, so I guess that I already did that. But anyways, um, I know this doesn't go with home decor. Okay, so maybe one day I'll do a try on haul. Shit, what the other, oh, here it is. Um, I just haven't gathered enough to be able to do like a whole video on something like that yet. Um, but that'll be a whole nother series if I do that. Um, okay, so these are oh, such cute earrings. So they're like light pink with like pearly and I don't know. I just thought they were, I like the dangliness, just pretty. So those were 99 cents. These were 99 cents as well. These little pink studs. Um, Okay, so it looks like we're heading toward the end, you guys, until well, after this, I'll just, I'll show you guys what, where I've placed some of this stuff. Um, okay, so next is lots, lots and lots of ribbon. Um, now, if you are a Christmas tree person, um, ribbon, I think, is such a cute way to style a Christmas tree, just having, like, a bunch of bows. Like, how cute would it be to have a white Christmas tree and, like, a bunch of pink ribbons you know like pink um bows or just lining it you know like other people do but i like the i don't know i really like the bows that's one thing i do like um so um i'm sure i will find something else to do with these ribbons um i think they would be great like if you have curtains and you okay sorry you guys but my ipad died so um back to where i was is um, the ribbon. So I think that would be awesome for um, tying back curtains as well. So um, I'm sure I will figure out something. Um, what I did do with some ribbon, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video, is just some black and white ribbon I had gotten from Walmart. But this would be really cute, like if you have pink that you want to incorporate pink um, into your space. Um, if you have a bust, if you like busts, um, so like I tied like a, I put like a, a headband bow on the bust, but this would be cute as that also, for that also, I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay, so next is this blanket, which I have on me right now. Just a simple white blanket i don't know it's really cozy so i paid 99 cents for that um now this did not come from the thrift store but i just thought it was super cute i wanted to share it so this notebook okay this says focused and fabulous um which is fine this is not what i'm talking about necessarily but it came with this pen this is a pen oh how cute is that I don't know, I just think that this is so cute. And then you, this thing comes off and then there's your pen. Like how cute is that to keep in your purse? Or your wallet or whatever, you know? I just thought I'd share that with you guys. But um, I think it came from, I don't know if it came from Home Goods or Tuesday morning, I'm not really sure. But it was like $2.99. So anyways, um, 
thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed my haul here. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, so I forgot to mention this ribbon I found at the same thrift store in the same haul. Um, so I found just enough to do these two lampshades. Oh, and then here in my bathroom, um, here are the little candle holders I showed you. I just put them on the edge of my bathtub. Okay, so here's the little salt and pepper shaker, as you can see. Where's my finger? Okay, you guys, so top of my bar cart here. Um, as you can see, I have added the few pieces I showed you today. Um, so yeah, here is the salt right here. Um, or there will be salt in there, but that's the little decanter for that. Um, and then here are the coasters. Trying to find my finger in the video, okay. <laughs> There are the coasters, and then the three glasses, which I think will be great for like a shot on the rocks because they're bigger than a shot glass, as you can see. So yeah. Um, let's see, so down here. Um, yeah, so there's the sets right there, the one I show you today, and then the, let's see. So yeah, there's one, and then there's two, as you can see there. Um, and then I kind of scooted a couple of the extra glasses. Where's my finger? Over there. So that way it feels more balanced. Okay, so here's the ribbon idea that I was talking about um, in the video haul. Um, just an idea if you find some ribbon and it's not much ribbon at a thrift store.